Okay, when I get into Snagit, after I've double clicked on it, actually let me do it again. I'm going to double click on Snagit to start it. I would like to evaluate it. I go to my wizards. I just hit basically next because I'm going to explain how this works. Okay, first thing I do when I'm in Snagit is I want to set up the capture to be video capture. And then we generally would go down and, and select the screen. Right now the screen resolution of my screen is set to 640 by 480, 256 colors. How did I set that up? I right mouse button click on my desktop, go to Properties, Settings, and it says 640 by 480 8-bit uh, color, which is low quality color. But what we want to do is we want to record the screen for our least common denominator user. In this case, it will play on everybody who has every, basically it will play for everyone in the world at 640 by 480. Sometimes you're on a monitor where you can't set it at 640 by 480. Uh, if you have that problem, click on Advanced. Go to your Adapter tab. Go to List All Modes. And here it will give you a list of all the modes. Uh, I like 640 by 480, 256 colors, and either 75 or 85 hertz. If your computer cannot display this, don't worry about it. Uh, you can click on this. And I'm going to shrink this bar down. And I could say OK. And now I'm at that mode. And I can say OK again. Now if my computer did not display it, I can wait 15 seconds and it will set it back to how it was before. OK, so now i got my screen set up to 640 by 480, 256 colors. I clicked on Video Capture here. I can turn on, I want to include my cursor because I want to record what's going on with my cursor and I want to record my audio. Okay, now I can come over here into Output and go into Properties. And what I want to do is I want to configure manually my video. I'd like it to record always the same frame rate. Uh, in this case, if I'm going to record something simple, 5 frames a second is fine. I can click on Video Setup and use Microsoft RLE if your screen is set for 256 colors. If you're using an application that has more colors, uh, like Photoshop or if you're going to do a rendering product, uh, if you have lots of pictures and high resolution, then use Microsoft Video One as your recording uh, compressor. But Microsoft RLE is fine. It will keep the file sizes relatively small, about 4 meg for every minute. If you're on Video 1 with millions of colors, then it's probably going to be about 10 to 12 meg for every minute. Again, these file sizes are large, so keep that in mind. I'm going to choose OK. And uh, I want to set up my audio. Now again, you're going to choose whatever audio board you might have. I have a Creative Sound Blaster PCI. So I'm going to choose that here. And I can go into Audio Setup. This is what we recommend. We don't need really high quality audio for your voice. Uh, this one here, 11 kilohertz, 16-bit mono, which is going to record at 21 kb per second. We need relatively good quality audio. Um, if, you, if, you do a, if you record with really poor quality, it's very hard for us to fix it. If you record with good quality, it's easy for us to fix it. Uh, although for the human voice, this is fine. Uh, if you were recording a symphony or something like that, you might want to choose a higher resolution. Um, but you don't really have to get into this range, which is, which is going to make the files very large. Uh, but if you were recording, this is CD quality audio, 
and so is that one there. Uh, 48 is a little bit better than CD quality. Again, you don't need CD quality to record your voice. We also like 16-bit uh, and mono. 16-bit uh, is easier to clean up. It gives us a little higher quality. So I'm going to choose OK there. Now it's going to ask me for file name. It'll ask me for a file name every time I create a video. I can give it a fixed file name, which I don't really like to do, or I can give it an automatic file name. In this case, since I'm teaching you Snagit, I could take the default here, or I could call it. And basically, that's going to pad. 001 will be my first video. 002 will be my second video. I can tell it where I want it to go. I can click on the Browse Here icon, and I can say I want to put this on my D drive, or my E drive, or my F drive. Wherever I have a lot of disk space is where I want to keep these files. Okay, so I'm just basically going to leave the default here. Actually, I'll put it in my documents. Okay, and then I'll click on Apply and OK. Now I can also go into uh, my video preferences here. And I can uh, pause before capturing. Uh, I can boost my priority. It'll show us a rectangle on the screen when we're recording. I can hide that. Um, probably a good thing to hide that. Uh, I don't necessarily need it to pause, but I'll let it pause right now. Uh, this is going to show me where my temporary capture location is. Again, that's fine. I can hit OK. I'm going to go back here to Options and Program Preferences. Uh, these are my hotkeys. Control, Shift, P. I could change that to whatever I want. I can hide and unhide. And I, I can set these hotkeys. You can go into Help down here and get more information. Uh, program options, hide Snagit before capturing. That's always a good thing to do. Otherwise, Snagit pops up on the screen. Uh, automatically save my profile is another fine thing to do. But uh, you can set up the screen however you want. And notifications, I can have pop-up messages appear on the screen if I want to. Let's see, is there anything else we need to do here? Output file properties. Okay, here's where I'd set up my fixed region if I wanted to, but I'm not going to go fixed region. I'm going to go for my whole screen. And that's basically it. So when I'm ready to go, I can just click on Capture, and it'll start recording the whole screen. I'm not going to do it now because I'm showing you how to use this tool.